So let's say you have an expression 3 plus 2. Prefix notation basically takes that operator and then moves it to the very front. So instead of 3 plus 2, you'd get plus 3, 2. Same thing for anything else. If you have 4 divided by 2, you would take that division operator and put it to the front. So you get divide 4, 2. And that would equal 2. And that's pretty much it for prefix. So I'll go get a sample problem that we can do. Okay, so we have to evaluate this prefix expression and the operator diff returns the maximum of the absolute value of a minus b, b minus c, and a minus c. So we see that diff takes in three arguments. So we'll have to remember that when we go through this problem. And so what I like to do first is I look to see if there are any operator number number triplets. So that could mean like a division sign and then a number and then a number or a plus sign and then a number and a number. I think you get the idea. So I see here that we have the trio of divide 8 and 2. So that's going to equal 8 divided by 2. And then we have plus 2, 1, which is 2 plus 1. This, which is 4 minus 3. And then this, and the arrow basically means that it's you're taking that number to a higher power. So this would be 2 to the third power. And then we have this last triplet, which is 2 times 3. So let's rewrite this. So we have our diff. We have 8 divided by 2, which is 4, another diff, 2 plus 1, which is 3, 4 minus 3, which is 1, 2 to the third power, which is 8, and then 2 times 3 is 6. Okay, so I see that this diff has three numbers coming after it, because before we said that diff takes in three parameters, so this is perfect. So it returns the maximum of absolute value of a minus b, which is 2, absolute value of b minus c, which is 7, and then a minus c, which is 5. So obviously 7 is going to be the bigger number. So this simplifies to 7, and we get diff 4, 7, 6. And this ended up perfectly, because we now have three par parameters to go with this diff. So 4 minus 7, absolute value is 3. Uh, B minus C, which is 1. So we have 3, 1, and then 4 minus 6 is 2. Well, the absolute value of 4 minus 6 is 2. So obviously 3 is the highest of these, and it simplifies to 3.